Yo, what's up everyone? In today's video, I'm going to be covering how to play Bloodhound in Season 10. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, Bloodhound's a pretty straightforward legend, why would I need a guide to play them? Well, from my extensive experience in Apex, I see people all the time not using Bloodhound correctly. So in this video, I will be giving you all of my best tips and tricks to master Bloodhound in Season 10. I'll start with briefly covering their abilities and then get into more practical examples of how and when to be using them. Doesn't matter if you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, I promise you, I will be teaching you some things that will help you improve with Bloodhound. If anyone's new here, my channel centers around helping you guys improve at Apex Legends, so please consider subscribing if you enjoy this type of content and would like to see more. Alright, let's get into the video. Now, Bloodhound is a recon legend, and right now I'd have to say Bloodhound is the best recon legend. Their abilities center around scanning your enemies to reveal their location for 3 seconds to you and your teammates. And I will be going over all of Bloodhound's abilities in a second, but let's talk about Bloodhound's role on the team first. If you're playing as Bloodhound, you are a support legend, but you have high potential to be the one fragging out on your team as well. You want to be methodical when you are approaching fights, and you want to be in good positioning to help assist your teammates with your abilities. The value you add to your team is huge. The amount of information that you're able to get as Bloodhound and relate to your teammates easily is just insane. Three things to focus on while playing as Bloodhound are angles, timing, and positioning. Let me elaborate here in a moment. If you guys are enjoying this video, please be sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. This helps my video out tremendously and will only take a second of your time. Now since some of my previous videos have hit some all time highs with the like button, I will leave a clip of me skateboarding at the end of this video. Check it out if you're interested. Now, Bloodhound technically has two passives. One is scanning survey beacons that all of the recon legends have. And when you scan a survey beacon, your teammates and you know the next ring location. This is heavily used in ranked and competitive Apex due to the style of play in those modes. The second passive is called Tracker, where you see tracks left behind from your enemies. You will be able to see things such as where they just were, if a team just fought, if a weapon was reloaded, what direction that team is heading in, and there will be a time amount next to it. Trackers will be there if you come across something within the past 90 seconds. The trackers are also color coded, so gray will be for older tracks and red is for fresh or new tracks. This can be pretty valuable when it comes to gathering some delayed info on a particular situation you and your teammates find yourself in. This passive also makes it so even if you aren't in range to scan your opponents, you can quickly put the pieces together to come across that team. If you are solo queuing, you can ping these trackers and it will relay a voice line to your teammates referring to someone just being there or they just fought there. And this can also help your teammates start to gather that info that you are seeing. Obviously, if you're squatted up, you can get specific with your comms regarding how long ago these things transpired. And if you do that, then your teammates will know just as much as you know and you'll be on your way to finding that team and hopefully taking them out. Moving on to Bloodhound's tactical, Eye of the Allfather. This is where I'm going to cover most of my tips and tricks, so listen closely. For anyone who isn't familiar with Bloodhound's abilities though, the scan will briefly reveal hidden enemies, traps, and clues throughout structures in front of you. The scan is cone shaped. Now I've done a lot of coaching sessions and people didn't even realize the direction the scan covered. You get your scan every 25 seconds and if your scan hits an enemy, their location is revealed for 3 seconds and the scan can reach up to 75 meters. Now this is an insane ability for all three of those reasons right there. Obviously your teammates can see everything on your scan that you see and this requires no voice communication, which is a super underrated aspect of Bloodhound that no one really talks about. On other legends, gathering this type of information every 25 seconds would be incredibly difficult and sometimes just flat out impossible. Information is critical in Apex, especially with how fluid everything is. Now I'm going to be covering some big no-nos that I see often from a lot of Bloodhound players. First off, just because you scanned and got somebody on your scan with no other opening, that does not mean you should just be ignorant and push them. Now when I use the word opening, I mean some sort of advantage that you can capitalize on. Example would be cracking an armor, finding an enemy isolated from their teammates, etc. You want to either scan, look for an opening, or get an opening and then scan and go in for the kill. You do not just want to scan and just run at your opponents. I see this time and time again and it's just foolish. Just because you have the information of their whereabouts does not necessarily give you the upper hand in the fight. Sure, sometimes it will work out and sometimes it is the right call, but generally you need another opening. Like you're the third party or you get someone weak or you catch one person on the team isolated from their teammates. 
Just play it smart, learn from your mistakes, and play together as a team when you're using the scan, and you can't really go wrong. Another thing you should know about the scan is the animation itself takes about two seconds and that means your gun will not be drawn for that duration of the animation. So you never want to scan in line of sight of your enemies. This means you should be scanning earlier and then playing off of the scan and if the fight is drawn out and you have your scan again, make sure to do it but behind some cover or obviously when your enemy isn't looking at you. And this brings me to my next point because I see it all the time. But if you have your scan, you should be using it and using it where you think a team is or could potentially be. Now, trust me, guys, I solo queue pubs all of the time and, and ranked as well. And I have bloodhounds that scan like twice a game or they use the scan when we're already in a disadvantage and we're going to die. You need to be proactive with the scan because to be honest, the scan is a huge crutch. If you aren't using it, then what are you doing playing bloodhound? I know the more seasoned players will be like, duh, if you have the scan, use it. But I have to reiterate some of these points because I'm telling you from experience, people just aren't getting it. Let's talk about Bloodhound's ultimate, Beast of the Hunt. This ultimate is on a three minute cooldown and it's gotta be one of the best ultimates in the game. So during Beast of the Hunt, you get a 30% speed boost increase. Your vision is altered, so enemies are highlighted in red and allies are in blue. This vision makes you hyper aware of where your opponents are. It can make it super easy to secure kills. During Beast of the Hunt, your scan animation is quicker and you get a scan every 8 seconds. Now Beast of the Hunt will last for 30 seconds, but if you get a knock during that time, 5 seconds will be added to the ultimate's duration. So before I get into some tips for using their ultimate, let me tell you about a couple of the downfalls of this ability. The 30% speed boost is great, but for some reason it increases your sensitivity. So if you're like me and you like to use shotguns or wingmans up close it will be a little difficult if you're not used to this sensitivity increase now i don't know why it's a thing but it is and it will also increase your fov your field of view unless you have a specific setting turned off in your settings so it doesn't alter your fov this setting also applies to when you stim as octane now the other downfall for this ability which isn't that big of a deal is bloodhound will let out this loud roar and this definitely lets your opponents know you're in beast of the hunt and you're pretty close now most of the time this won't matter at all because the team is just going to know that you're close and you're going to be taking that fight. But if you're trying to be stealthy or you're playing as a solo, using your ultimate will totally eliminate a surprise attack, but you get three scans so you get to know their whereabouts. Let's move on to some tips and tricks for using this ultimate. First thing is make sure you're constantly scanning while you're in the ultimate. As I said, you're going to get a scan every eight seconds, so you'll get at least three. So even if you are backed up and out of the fight because you have to heal or something, make sure to use your scans for your teammates. This constantly wall hacks your enemies and it's just insanely strong, guys. If you're stuck as a solo or you're in a real pinch, you can use the ultimate to get that speed boost and use this as more of a repositioning tactic. This is also another viable option if needed. Now, I think the ultimate should be safe for when you absolutely know you and your team are about to fight. Like that moment leading up to the fight because it always sucks using the ultimate too soon and having the duration run out right before the fight is actually going to start and you guys will see in high level ranked and competitive if you watch it that teams will use their ultimate right when they're about to fight and that is really the key to having a huge advantage over your enemies even if they have another bloodhound on their team now king's canyon is going to be the next split for ranked this season and i strongly encourage you to use the charge towers whenever possible to get the ultimate ready so you have it if you need it it's crazy how much of an advantage you have while in beast of the hunt now where does bloodhound fit into the meta well bloodhound is 100 percent s tier and they have been since their buff back in season six which was over a year ago now for me bloodhound is an insanely easy legend to use the info you get from their abilities is just not fair in my opinion it's too much and for anyone who thinks otherwise and disagrees with me i'm going to challenge you to play a comp without bloodhound or seer for that matter and try to gather a similar amount of info for you and your teammates it not only will take a lot of game sense it will also take a lot of skill and coordination to gather and communicate that information out so let me know how that goes thank you guys so much for watching i will catch you on the next upload peace